guys, what's up? Today I'm going to do a, uh, a video on a topic that I've been hearing a lot about and something I've wanted to talk about for a while now, and that is, is pre-release DLC okay? Now when I say pre-release, I mean like, is when DLC is announced, like season passes or map packs or honestly any kind of thing that's announced, you know, for the game itself before the game even comes out. Like, I'm mostly thinking about the, uh, the Watch Dogs, uh, I, th I guess Season Pass, or I guess they're going to have a Season Pass, but they released news that there's going to be DLC, and the game hasn't even come out yet, and a lot of people are being thrown off by that, just because, you know, they feel like it should be included. Now, while I think it, there's some of that could have been included, probably, but the one thing is, uh, well, the Watch Dogs DLC is a, uh, a campaign expansion pack, I think. You get to play as like one of uh, the characters that your main guy is uh, like partners with or something. Uh, I'm not really too big on Watch Dogs news because uh, well, I'm I, I'm excited for it. Uh, I just I'm not really sold on it yet, like most people are. But anyway, uh, I just want to say that. Uh, well, starting off, I want to say that most of this stuff is my opinion, and uh, I will throw in some facts in there, but mostly it's my opinion. So, uh, I'll go ahead and let you guys uh, have that. If you don't want to hear anything I have to say, you know, just go ahead and click off the video now. But anyway, when is pre-release DLC okay, or is it okay at all? When I say that, I mean like map pack store expansion, or maybe even just cosmetic, cosmetic items. Like, uh, for example, for the cosmetic items, uh, if you pre-ordered Call of Duty Ghost, you got, uh, the Classic Ghost Pack, which actually, uh, more or less, it was early access, and not a, uh, DLC, like, that you only got through, uh, pre-ordering. And a lot of people are thrown off by that. Like, uh, another example of that would be with the, uh, the Halo 4 game, uh, there was tons of pre-order exclusive stuff that uh, came out, like armor-wise. I mean, it's all cosmetic, but uh, say you want a certain piece of armor, and you, the only way to get it was to pre-order from this certain, you know, location. And uh, eventually, they released a the legendary edition, or uh, see, so yeah, a game of the year edition, or whatever, some kind of edition like that, and it included pretty much every single piece of, uh, you know pre-order bonus armor and a lot of people didn't like that and I mean I didn't like that because I didn't think it'd be I, thought, I, I think that they advertised that those things were pre-order bonuses and it wouldn't really fare to the people who thought it was but uh, anyway pre-order bonuses is that okay for DLC like uh, for example I'm I'm going to pick up a uh, Spider-Man uh, Spider game to uh, I think tomorrow I'm not sure. I'm recording this on the 7th, and it the website does say it comes on the 8th, and I'm getting it on Xbox One, so that's why it's coming on the 8th. And there is a pre-order bonus with it that uh, unlocks four extra costumes for the game, and uh, just stuff like that okay? I mean, it's a single-player game, so I, I would assume so. And I do believe there's going to be DLC post-release also. And, uh, like, see, like... When does this stuff be okay? I mean, uh, I would consider it okay as if it's a pre-order bonus that's cosmetic and not like a huge, like over, say like you, say Battlefield 5 came out, if you pre-ordered it, you got like a, a, a the best gun in the game and no one else could get it. Now that is way over the line. Now I feel like if they, if developers intentionally cut out content out of the game, and then resell it as DLC, then yes, that is also claw, claw, <laughs> crossing the line. And, uh, uh, well, lastly, I want to talk about a season pass. And, like, what defines a season pass? Uh, most games nowadays, uh, I would say, even if it's single player, will have a season pass. Just so that means that, uh, there will be more than, like, one DLC down the line. And you basically pre-order the DLC by getting this thing, because... I'm assuming all DLC like season passes uh, come with all DLC included and you might actually get a little bit of extra stuff in there I'm not too sure but uh, in my opinion uh, a season pass should include access to most or all DLC when I say most like 
there should be like in writing on like say the contract I guess for the DLC you know what you're getting it says like the first you know blah 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 amount of DLCs and uh, and if no one reads that then it's their own fault for you know assuming that that next the fourth DLC will be like included in the past I'm mostly referring to the Halo 4 also again for this because they released three map packs that were included in the season pass and then they released a, another map pack that was not included in the season pass and a lot of people uh, demanded that they get it for free because they bought the season pass and the season pass said in little writing <laughs> that it only included the first three map packs so I would assume that is okay because it does say what you're getting and if you don't read that that's in kind of your own fault and uh, also I feel like the season pass should be just a little bit more than just you know get get all the DLC for a discounted price or something like that I mean why that's all good and stuff I mean uh, the season pass include like the season pass only items and I'm mainly referring to that to like uh, Battlefield 4 or Battlefield in general They've been doing this thing called Premium for, uh, I guess, since Battlefield 3. I'm not sure if it was included in, uh, well, the VIP program, I think, maybe for Battle Battlefield Back Up to 2, maybe? I don't know. And it basically, uh, this weekly new stuff, like uh, maybe a deal, maybe a double XP weekend, uh, you know, you get paints for your guns, you get camos for your soldiers, and you get, uh, like emblems and stuff to uh, customize your profile with and but it's just all a lot of stuff and uh, you also get all the DLC and you get the DLC early and uh, basically when it comes when the DLC for Battlefield comes out it comes out like uh, say like uh, April 1st and uh, the anybody who's not premium will be able to purchase the DLC two weeks later so you would be able to get it on uh, I'm not sure I, I, I'm, I don't even want to do math right now I'm kind of uh, upset the, I didn't get the, it's, I've had problems all morning trying to get some gameplay for this and it's kind of uh, irked me a little bit so I'm <laughs> I don't want to sound too angry because uh, I can't really be angry when I'm recording because it's just so fun but anyway uh, uh, I guess you could say that Pre-release DLC is 50/50 okay. When I say that, uh, like I said, as long as it's not like a super-powered gun for shooters or something that adds tons and tons and tons of content to the game, like maybe like a couple extra missions or something like that, just enough to add some replayability. I mean, that's okay. But when you add like double the time of the game. And that's the only way to get it was to pre-order it. I mean, a lot of people don't like pre-orders, you know. Which I'm, I'm actually supportive of. I mean, it kind of, uh, I don't know why. I, I guess, like, usually the bonuses come with it. And it's nice to have the bonuses. But, uh, I would definitely say it's okay. Unless stuff like that does happen. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I want to know your opinions on the on this subject in the, uh, the comments so go ahead and leave a comment and do you agree with me do you disagree and uh, I will see you guys in the next video hope you guys enjoyed